What's up guys, Coach Lauren here from Colossus Fit and today we're going to be walking you through how to do a KAS glute bridge because it's a little bit different than a hip thrust and they get often confused. So let's hop right into it. Something really quick about the setup is you can use any elevated surface. I go for a bench, it's the easiest thing to grab, but you can use anything elevated. Just to note, I will be using a barbell in today's video, but if you do have access to a machine at your gym, if you're doing it body weight with a dumbbell on a bench, whatever, the same rules will apply. So a common thing here is people don't really know where to put their feet. And I think a good rule of thumb is to see where the lower part of your kneecaps line up and then put your feet roughly there. So my kneecaps are about here. I'm gonna put my heels roughly around that area. And then when you go up for a nice practice rep, you wanna feel nice and comfortable. The biggest difference between a hip thrust and a cast glute bridge is going to be the range of motion. So a hip thrust is gonna be a full range of motion all the way down, all the way up. KS is basically gonna be a half rep. A quick little tip here, if you do not have a barbell pad at your gym or you don't own one, just use anything you have. You can grab a towel from the front. I'm just using my sweatpants today. You just wanna make sure it's in a comfortable position around your hip area, because you will feel the load put pressure. So just make sure you have something making it nice and comfortable. Okay, so once you have your barbell loaded, we wanna make sure that we're keeping in mind the foot placement. So I'm gonna put my feet roughly where my kneecaps were. Make sure those toes are slightly externally rotated. That will engage your glutes a little bit better. And again, my back is in a nice comfortable position and I'm gonna brace my core, go right ahead for my first rep, squeeze my glutes. So I know that I previously mentioned it's gonna be a half rep, so how do you know when to stop going down? A good way to look at this is when your shins start to fall inwards, that's when we're gonna go right back up. So when I'm in the top of my rep, and I start to feel my shins coming in, that's when I'm gonna go back up. Shins coming in, back up. Before we get into some common mistakes, if you are learning something, make sure you smash that like button and follow my Instagram down below for some more tips. So the first common mistake that I see a lot in both a hip thrust and a cast glute bridge is going to be the fact that there's a lot of pelvic movement. So we want to keep our ribs face downwards, we don't want to flare them at all, and just make sure you're keeping your core engaged the entire time. So as you can see here, I'm leaving my chin tucked upwards throughout the entire part of the movement. The biggest thing to keep in mind is keeping your neck in line with your spine, so my chin is going to follow downwards with the rest of my body. And lastly, a very common thing I always hear is that people cannot feel hip thrust or cast glute bridges in their glutes. And normally because your feet are a little too close to you and that's going to target all quads so just make sure your feet are far enough away from you test out different feet positions and see what works best just make sure you're feeling it in your glutes all right we've mastered these cast glute bridges so make sure you subscribe for more and we'll see you in the next video